Hi everyone. In this video, I discuss with you one of common dental problems that we can see a lot in the dental clinics, which is tooth wear. I will discuss with you what is the tooth wear, what are the types of tooth wear, what is the etiology or the cause for each type, and the management in part two. First, what is the definition of tooth wear? It is a reversible loss of tooth substance by factors other than trauma or caries. There are four types of tooth wear, one E for erosion and three A's for attrition, abfraction, and abrasion. The first one is erosion, and it is different because it's from a chemical attack. So the definition, it is the loss of tooth substance from non-bacterial chemical attack. Erosion can be due to extrinsic acids or intrinsic acids. The extrinsic acids from dietary as found in carbonated drinks, environmental, but this is rare now because of the new rules, and medication like acid salivary flow stimulants or vitamin C. The intrinsic acids are from stomach. And it affects the palatal surface of upper lapial segment and the occlusal or buccal of lower molars. The second type of tooth wear is attrition. Here, it is caused by physical tooth-to-tooth -to -tooth contact. And the definition of attrition is a physical wear caused by tooth-to-tooth -to -tooth contact. Here, there are two examples for attrition, and there is a hint that the occlusal wear facets match with opposing teeth. Also, the attrition increases in abrasive dyes or proxism. The third type of tooth wear is abrasion, which is also physical wear, but the difference here is that it is by objects other than teeth. In case number one, tooth brushing can be the cause. Whether it is hard tooth brushing or use abrasive tooth pastes can result in this lesion. In case number two, it can be caused by habits like pipe smoking or nail biting can cause this V-shaped lesion. The last type of tooth wear is abfraction, where there is doubt if this is well, one of tooth wear types or not. But it is a V-shaped cervical lesion produced by stresses of clenching. Here, this is an example of a case of abfraction where you can see the wedge shape or the V-shaped cervical lesion. Thank you for watching and I hope that you can now easily differentiate between the types of tooth wear. If you have any comment, please write it down in the comments and thank you.